Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the review. Today is a special one. Today we're going to be looking at if Johan Cruyff, the master of total football, is he still an amazing player in the game? We're talking late June. Now the question is, can he afford this guy now? The good thing is, I picked this guy up for 3.8 million coins last week. And I just checked his price yesterday. He was just over 3.1 million coins. He sold on the current bid of 3133. So this card has come massively down in value. But listen, this is Johan Croy, five star, five star combination, a plus 11 on the balance. Now, how big is that? Now, I have to say this card, absolutely amazing. I mean, it cuts, it, it's just perfectly cut for me. It's like a bespoke player perfectly for me. Five star, five star combination is my style. And the way this guy is agility and balance and he's dribbling on the ball. Honestly, Bar Maradona and Garincha, this guy is right up there as the best dribbler in the game. So I think he's up there as one of the, either the best or on, on just shy of Maradona. But he's right up there. He's in your top 300% for dribbling. His balance, this guy doesn't fall on the floor anymore. He is just tremendous on the ball. He's just so good, that ball. It's like what he said when I watched his football's greatest. He said, talk to the ball, make it your friend. And listen, he put a smile on my face. The way he was turning defenders as though they weren't even there, the man goes past you, honestly. His dribbling, coupled with the agility and balance and that sleek, lean body type of his, makes him a tremendous, tremendous outfield player. In strike, he's phenomenal. In cam, he's brilliant. He can play him lamb, ramp. Just, just an absolutely incredible card. However, I do want to say this. This card, even though it's amazing, it's fantastic, he's not the quickest player. He's not the strongest player. And also, I have to say, sometimes his finishing can let him down. Now, these are the certain downsides I've seen with this card, but I've played with this guy for now 30, 40 plus games, okay? Of course, I'm not going to show you the entirety of that in the review. It's just going to be a cut down version. Now, listen, I will tell you guys right now, this is a major upgrade from his other cards. Hands down, his finishing was tremendous. However, just at times, I just thought, oh, I think you should have got that in. And when it comes to pace, that new Chiellini, He's trapped me back. So where this card is, it really finds its niche. I'm not gonna say this card is, is perfect, it's not. I'm not gonna sit here and say this guy is the best player in the game, he's not. He wasn't as dominant as Prime Icon Moments R9. He's not as, I, I didn't find him as dominant as uh, Prime Icon Moments Ronaldinho. But I will say this to you guys. I think this guy is an elite player. And therefore, elite players will use this guy the way he's meant to be used. If you give this guy to somebody who's not that good, I don't think they'll be doing wonders with this card. Even though he's 5-star, five 5-star, five until you know how to wield the 5-star, five 5-star. Five and this man was the brain of football. He gave a lot to football. Okay, This analogy and kind of thinking around total football where everyone attacks, the defenders can attack. I mean, look at Kuman. He's a centre-back with amazing finishing and shooting. And everyone pushes forward and attacks. This guy's belief in football and the diamond formation that he kind of brought to the table, him and uh, Mikkels. I have to say, this guy's on another brain level. He's on another wavelength when it comes to FIFA as well. I think to use this card, it's not for everybody. I'm not trying to put you off this card. This card is for amazing guys who can use five star skills. And when you can, this guy becomes one of or the best card in the game. I think this is the best card in the, this is one of the, him and R9 moments are the best cards in the game. If you know how to use this card though. For people who don't use this card, I don't know how to you wield 5 star skills, I wouldn't recommend this card, I wouldn't. He ain't that quick, he isn't that strong. And if you don't know how to use or utilize them 5 star skills, I think you may struggle using him. Now, for me personally, this card is a 10 out of 10 because, uh, like I said before, 5 star 5 stars for me and his body type and the way he can dribble and then his passing is unbelievable. There's so much to this card. He's so good and he's, he's, he's more clinical than his other versions, absolutely. But I just think you've got to be on a certain level to use this guy. But he is an unbelievable card. I'm going to give him an overall rating of a 9.8. 
For value for coins, well, that's massively been helped because he's gone down seven hundred thousand coins. You know, for a, you know, for for a week. Like I, I bought him a week ago, and 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 since that time of that period, he's lost seven hundred thousand coins. Well, obviously, it depreciate quite fast, which hurts. But a card like this is a dream card, and what a phenomenal player he was, Johan Cruyff. I, I love this guy to bits. He's uh, He's one of the greatest players and um, I love him with all of my heart and what he did as well for, for disabled kids, he has a foundation for them. Just what an unbelievable man, what an unbelievable player and can I just say another weakness might be his stamina as well, second half I did see that, that tricking, that, that tumbling down but listen if you are a skiller and you love Cruyff, get this guy, he's an, he's an unbelievable card but value for coins I'm going to give him a 9, an overall rating of a 9.8 but so much fun to use, thank you.